Right, Trev, obviously back in familiar surroundings. How's it? feel to be back in this area? Brilliant actually, you know, went away for a bit of an experience, life experience for the family and um, probably to get a bit of sun as well, been playing 19 years professionally so I felt I needed a little rest and um, thought I'd go to Dubai for a year and then six years later I was still there so uh, last, lasted a bit longer than I thought it would but yeah it was a nice respite from the game and from England and it's good to be back and I feel yeah, home of home. Did it help to deal with the retirement that little bit better, having that much sun on your knees and stuff? Um, I think so. I think just the privacy and being able to enjoy the family, you know, outdoor lifestyle, barbecues, living on the sea. It was uh, it was ideal and uh, the boys settled really well in school. Natalie settled, um, got a new group of friends very quickly. So for as a family, it was a you know it was a perfect way for me just to step away from the game that I love and I still I still love um, and just find my bearings and decide what I wanted to do. Some people might question why you come back with that sort of lifestyle, but Blackpool's always been a, a big part of your life, not just from starting off as a player, but with Natalie as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, um, started my career here, like you just said, Stu, and, you know, I've got a, it's, it really does hold a, a, a big place in my heart and my um, history of football as well. Um, signed here when I was 14, and I've had some fantastic times. Learnt my trade here, you know, played when I was 16, which was a fantastic opportunity. You've obviously come through that academy yourself for those those two years before making your debut. What yeah. do you remember about that debut? It was, a, it was a tough season to come in, wasn't it? Relegation. Yeah, very difficult, very difficult, and it was um, it was um, you know I think I was a boy amongst men, but I soon grew up and I soon learned, you know, you got to take care of yourself on the pitch. Obviously, there's you know 20 cameras around the pitch nowadays, but back in the day, you know, you could get caught off the ball with a, with a sly elbow here and there and it, you know it does it matures you and it, it, it does what you know it wisens you up to um, all the perils of playing lower division football at a young age and I felt I deal, dealt with that quite well after spitting my dummy out a couple of times but in training you know having the likes of Gary Briggs and, and um, Dave Bamba and Dave Ayres and players of that elk around me was so helpful you know Mike Davis um, fantastic characters in the game um, who I still speak to um, Often now, i am not spoke to Bams for a couple of um, a few months, but I do speak to these players still, and you know I'll pop up to I think it's Cleveland's and, and pop in and see Ginge and, and things like that. So yeah, it's great to be back in the area, and you know it was uh, it, it was it, I was I felt blessed that I could play professional football at such a young age, and obviously Blackpool's to thank for that. And it was Dave Bamba you bought your first house at, wasn't it? It was, yeah, and I've, I've still not took the boys back to see that house. I think they'll be amazed. I think it's about that wide the house, you know. It's like two up, two down. But no, I was I was proud of the house, you know. I was I think I was 18 when I bought it, and it was it was one of them where you know money wasn't my um, drive driving force. I just loved playing football. I felt blessed that I could play football for a living and and, uh, and earn money any money from it. it. weren't great wages at the time, but I was happy. And I, I remember thinking to myself, if I can earn this kind of money, pay my mortgage off over the next 15, 20 years, and stay at Blackpool, I'd be absolutely delighted. But obviously. You know, you, you start do, pulling up a few trees and doing a few bits and bobs, and, and, and you, you get a lot of interest from other clubs, and, and then you, you, your goals start getting set slightly higher. This club's come a long way since those days in the division four and, and everything else, but you know, in terms of that achievement for you, that was a big thing at the time, wasn't it? To be playoff winners with Blackpool and, and start that, that journey with Billy Air. Yeah, it's probably it's still probably one of the, my favourite memories that day at Wembley. You know, I can remember certain parts of it um, quite well afterwards you know the boys would fill the boots and it was it was, it was amazing atmosphere and the camaraderie that we used to have and I always think even when I went to Cardiff at the end of my career you know when you play slightly lower than the Premier League the camaraderie and the team spirit and and things like that are way better you know as soon as you get into that Premier League there's a lot of foreign players and you know we all get on and everything but it's more of a professional um, environment Whereas when you um, go down the division and you know you do really look after each other and you know each other's families and things like that, there's a lot more um, intimacy between the players. And yeah, I do look back to the Blackpool days and think, you know, all of us sharing a bath. It wouldn't happen now because of health and safety, especially with some of the players we had in our team. But um, you look at, you know, we sharing a bath together at Wembley and things like that. It's just, you know, superb memories and, and, and memories that I will never forget. It's always been clear in the career that you had that that grounding was really important that you had here. Yeah, it was a tough, it was a tough environment. You know, I remember sweeping these stands um, back in the day and clearing the rubbish. You know, after a, a first team game and that I probably played in as well because I was I was doing a bit of both. I was doing my YTS and I was also playing in the first team from a young age.
But uh, even that youth team we had, we had a fantastic youth team and you know some of them players possibly could have gone on and done greater things. Um, but yeah, we were painting stadiums, we were cleaning toilets, we were sweeping, mopping. But I'd done it at Lilith Show for a couple of years, so I half knew what I was getting into. And you know, I was quite pleased when I turned 17, I was able to sign pro contracts and uh, I didn't have to do all that anymore. He was a player that's been at a club for two minutes, so he's been on loan there for six months and you know, he goes back and, and scores against him and doesn't want to celebrate. I can't understand that. I'd be going mad and thinking, you know, you should assign me, this is why you should assign me.